Hi, it's Dale from Readies. I'm here at um, Roland HQ in Swansea, just taking a look at the new digital pianos that they've got um, out at the moment. And we're looking at the HP 605 at the minute. So, Neil, what can you tell us? Okay, so the three um, core changes on the previous range uh, on the 605 are firstly the new sound engine. So, we've got this supernatural modeling engine. So, it's moving away from traditional samples and it's creating the sound live as you play. So the benefit of this is that you're not uh, stuck to just one recording, yeah. uh, a traditional uh, sample. It's, it's almost like it's, it's live and it's reacting real time as you're playing. So you get all these uh, fine nuances and overtones as you would get from an acoustic mm -hmm. piano. So the sound engine, supernatural behavioral modeling is completely revolutionary and new, and it's on the HP 605. Um, we also have a fantastic speaker system on here called Acoustic Projection, and Acoustic Projection is an audio system that throws different elements of the piano sound and routes it to different speakers that are positioned around the piano. So we have six speakers on here. We have two spatial speakers at the top, we have two near field uh, speakers behind the key bed. Mm -hmm. We have two cabinet speakers underneath the piano. And the idea is that certain things are rooted to those speakers, certain elements of the sound to make it feel and sound like you're playing yeah. an acoustic piano when you're sat in front mm -hmm. of it. Uh, so that's really effective. We call that acoustic projection system. And the third major change um, on this range of pianos and is obviously found on the HP 605 is the brand new hammer action. So that's called the PHA50, and it's a hybrid action mm -hmm. which combines uh, wood and molded materials. So you've got the light, tactile feel of wood, mm -hmm. um, but also aesthetically it looks yeah, more like, more a, like a, 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 a traditional yeah. action. Um, the centre core of the action is, is solid, so it's molded plastic uh, purely to make sure that it's uh, stable and sustainable moving forward. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to suffer with any swelling. Um, so, new sound engine, new speaker system, and also um, the new hammer action. In addition to that, it has Bluetooth technology. Mm -hmm. So we're able to connect wirelessly, um, iPhone, Android phone, uh, tablet, wow. iPad, stream audio. So you use it as a set of speakers um, in your house, so a fancy yeah. set of Bluetooth speakers. Yeah. Um, you can also stream uh, vocal only tracks. You can find these on yeah. YouTube, so your favorite artists, and you can play along with them, That's play the piano really over the cool, top. Yeah. Um, also, for teaching um, and learning the piano, you could, um, if you search in YouTube, yeah. piano lessons, there are thousands available. Learn at your own pace, have the lesson uh, coming through the iPad yeah. or Android, but the audio is rooted through the speakers yeah. here, so, so it's not coming out. Quality sound, yeah. Yeah, it's not coming out the little tiny no. speaker, and then on top of that, you can plug headphones in, and uh, you know, if you're playing late at night. So or you whatever. can learn in complete silence if you want. In complete to. silence at your own pace, and I think that's one of the key advantages of Bluetooth yeah, yeah. is to be able to connect the two and also marry up existing technology that yeah. people already have. Um, the other advantage with Bluetooth is that you can use digital sheet music apps such as Peer Score for iOS devices or Sheet Music Direct. And basically, it will um, allow you to display PDF versions of sheet music. Mm -hmm. But using Bluetooth, you can set the pedals to turn the page, which is uh, That's really, really cool. useful. You can also transmit MIDI data yeah. via Bluetooth into GarageBand and things yeah. like that for recording. So to summarize, um, brand new sound chip, supernatural modeling. Again, this is a real stepping stone in digital piano technology. We've got a new acoustic projection system to throw the sound at mm -hmm. you. And we've got uh, the new hammer action, which is combining uh, wood and molded materials. And then on top of that, Bluetooth technology, which mm. will allow you to connect existing uh, products that you may have. Great stuff. Right. And it's also worth mentioning yes. <laughs> um, that all of the new range, uh, HPs and LX, come with a 10-year warranty. Wow. And that covers parts and labour yeah. um, in your own home. That speaks for itself. Yeah. Right, let's, let's take a listen to it. We'll just go and have a look at the sounds. Okay, so... Um, Let's hear the supernatural uh, mm -hmm. modeling engine.
Okay, so that's a modelled sound. As, as, as I'm playing, um, it's not triggering back multi-layered no. samples. But what's what you really need to listen for is the interaction of um, the notes once you've triggered off the in initial mm. sound. So I'll, I'll show you another example now, pentatonic scale. And I'll keep the sustain pedal down so they keep ringing. Yeah. Um, but listen to the resonance afterwards, how the strings are now um, behaving with each other yeah. and resonating and you get the nuances. And this is something you can't get from just uh, straightforward sampling. really hit and they're changing they're, yeah they're, they're you oscillating can hear it coming different... in and out and different yeah. resonances coming back in so the, the beauty of having a model sound um, means that you're not stuck with one particular yeah. tonal characteristic mm. And the beauty of it is that you can change it. So on all four of the new pianos, uh, 6F3, 6F5, LX7 and LX17, you have a feature called Piano Designer. And Piano Designer is where you can um, edit or change certain parameters of the piano sound according to your own personal preference. So if you like a piano to sound a particular way, you can create it if you like it bright, Creative, if you like it mellow, change it. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do it two ways. You can do it on the piano itself or using Bluetooth. You can use an app called Piano Designer and do it um, uh, on the screen. It's a bit more visual, yeah, yeah. easier to do. Um, so if we go into uh, Piano Designer here, the first thing that it offers up is the, the lid of a grand piano. So putting it down affects the tone. Mm -hmm. Putting it up will change it as well. So if we put it down completely, um, elements rather than just the piano sound so we've we've moved the piano lid there but so here we scrolled on to the second uh, parameter and it's key off noise and this is simulating the noise you would get from a, a wooden action in an acoustic piano so what I'm gonna do is put this up to its uh, full amount you'd mm -hmm. never play it with no. this because it'd be ridiculous but just to show yeah that is Noise you can you actually get. hear as well. You you won't be able to tell on the video, but the the sound is actually coming right from from the speaker. From the center. There. It's not so that's the acoustic projection yeah. really uh, working at its best. So mm -hmm. it's not coming out these top speakers because the action isn't there. It's the middle. Yeah. It's the fallback of the um, action as you would get on an acoustic piano. Um, so moving on, we can change the. Um, hammer noise, so more noticeable at the top end. Mm -hmm. So it's all these little extra sounds which contribute to the overall piano uh, tone. So we'll go through um, a few others. So you've got string resonance. So this is happening all the time when you're playing the piano. If you might have depressed a key and it's resonating in sympathy with other uh, notes that have been played on the piano. So if I, um, essentially, I've You've lifted the, lifted the yeah. felts off the string, but I haven't struck the string. Mm. If I, yeah, we get the, the strings, the strings through. resonating, and you get those uh, overtones, mm. and you can adjust those levels. Again, let's go through some other stuff on here. You can change the cabinet yeah. resonance, you can change the soundboard type. Yeah. All of these parameters will change the overall tone. Yeah, so there's um, a lot of things to get involved with. There's all sorts of things you can customize there. And once you've done that, you can save it. Yeah. So you can create your own personal piano. And um, so you could call it Reedy's, <laughs> Reedy's Special, and save that. it into the, the piano. Yeah. Um, this is a great one as well, a damper noise. So 
on an acoustic piano, when you press the sustain pedal down, all of the felts lift. Yeah. And they sort of catch the strings on the way up. So I'll put it up onto its uh, maximum. Yeah, you can hear that. You can hear those overtones. So it's all this attention to detail. Yeah, it is. It's really high definition, isn't it? When you start adding all these things together, it makes a difference. And it all contributes to the overall sound. It's not just yeah. recording that one note. Mm. It's the noises, it's the clicks, it's the thumps, it's the overtones. So working through Piano Designer, we now get to the part where you can customize the tone of each individual note. So um, you can change the tonal character, mm -hmm. you can change the pitch, uh, you can change the volume of each note. And this allows you to create, uh, essentially from scratch, your own perfect preferred piano. So we'll, we'll, we'll go into some of the uh, parameters. So if I go into, um, the note character, middle C. If I, oh, I see, you're actually changing the note individually there, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But you can change that character and do it all the way across the okay. piano. Uh, so tonal character, the volume, the pitch, to create your own. So it is literally yeah. your own yeah. incarnation, really. Exactly. Whatever um, you want. So really powerful, the piano designer uh, feature. The app, uh, which is available, um, also has a number of presets in okay. it. Okay, so you can um, just call up some... That other people have done. We've yeah. had some technicians and, cool. and that have put together some models for us. And again, they all sound very different. Um, we also have a model here today that we can show you that's just been done. And um, let's have a listen. Again, characteristically, very, very yeah. different. Okay, so this is... Um, a brand new piano model mm -hmm. and this was put together by uh, a very reputable uh, piano technician who tunes the pianos at the Royal Opera House wow. and Royal Ballet and this is his interpretation of uh, a model for us. Mm. If you heard on some of the uh, dissonant notes that I played, yeah, you, you can, can hear yeah. it really yeah. sort of waving around. It doesn't sound artificial though, that it sounds really natural the way that they're interacting with each other. It's not like an effect. Absolutely. It's, it's like a realistic interpretation. It feels a lot. Yeah, it feels like an acoustic piano. That's so, Again, a different sound, somebody else's interpretation, and uh, it sounds phenomenal. Yeah, so this is something that you guys can, can do with the piano. Obviously, you can take the chap from the Royal Ballet, or you can do your own and see what you can come up with. Absolutely, uh, so you're not limited yeah. to, we've got four pianos yeah. on this. Yeah. Right, okay, um, what I'll do, I'll just take you across the control panel, because uh, the control panel layout is the same on all four models, 603, 605, LX7, LX17, and if we just work from left to right, I'll point out, some of the key features. Obviously, you've got your volume button here, um, but what's nice when you plug your headphones in, it will default to a separate headphone volume, which is nice. Um, when you unplug your headphones, it will default back to the speaker setting. Um, so volume, moving along, you've got ambience. So this is your reverb. Um, so make it sound like you're playing in a large hall, or uh, if you want a really dry, flat sound and you're recording out into some software, you can use that on the ambience uh, button. Next to that, you've got brilliance. So very simple, press brilliance, and on the main screen in the middle, you can select whether to have a brighter sound or a more mellow sound. So that's a, more of a quick uh, edit mm. function to change the sound to your own personal uh, taste. Key touch, um, most digital pianos have this uh, these days. It's where you can change the sensitivity of the key bed so whether it um, has a light touch or a heavy touch, it, it doesn't change the physical weight of the keyboard, but it changes the sensitivity. So 
therefore giving the um, feel of a lighter or, or heavier keyboard. Most digital, digital pianos have light, medium, heavy or fixed. This has got 100 different levels. So mm -hmm. if we go into key touch, we can adjust it on the main screen to your own personal preference. Next to that, we've got transpose button, very straightforward. You've learned a piece of music in a certain key. Uh, your, your singer says, oh, it's too, too high. Uh, I need to drop it down. Press transpose. Again, covers a full octave. Let's drop it down to. Very straightforward. Um, Moving along, along the panel, you've got the split fe feature. So this will uh, give you two zones on the uh, piano. So if you have a look, it's set to piano and acoustic bass. So I've got piano on the left. So just fun to play with and you can change those combinations so you don't have to have a, a acoustic bass you can have any sound that's in the piano in the left hand you can have any sound in the piano in the right hand you can also change the split point very easily just by pressing and holding and press whatever key on the piano and it'll change the split point next to that you've got the dual mode so very common to want to mix two sounds at once so if i press that I think it defaults with piano and strings. So got piano and strings there. Like split, you can uh, mix any sounds you want uh, from the piano. You can also change the balance. So if I want to bring up the strings a bit. Then we're into our main tone banks now. So we heard some of the pianos earlier. You've got your main concert piano. Using the plus and minus button, you can select the different pianos within these banks. So you've got the bright piano. You've got mellow piano, ballad piano. And all the pianos in this uh, first bank, these are your modeled sounds. Moving across, we've got EPs. These are uh, straightforward samples. Again, within that bank, there are various EPs. Moving further across, we've got our organ uh, category. So often pianists like to play a bit of organ music as well. So what we can do here is put the pipe organ on, set our ambience over here, to rich, so make it sound like I'm playing in a large hall, and put that back. Um, so there are a number of different organs in here. So you've got a uh, flute, got a jazz organ. So a lot of variety in there. We move over, we've got some strings. Again, multiple different uh, string sounds within that category. And if we move over to other, this is where we find a whole host of other sounds, not only a general MIDI uh, uh, bank of sounds, so uh, brass, uh, guitars, drum kits, and things like this. You will also find um, some upright piano samples. So these aren't models, these are samples, but upright pianos have a very different uh, characteristic. And again, within that category, there are numerous upright piano sounds. So they're your main piano, um, to piano tones and additional sounds within the uh, range. There's over 300 sounds on each of the models. Moving along the uh, control panel, we get to a new feature, which is called registration. Very straightforward. It's like writing a patch into the piano. 
So if there are certain sounds or sound combinations you like, piano and string and an organ, you can save them in here for easy recall at a later date. We have next to the registration button, Twin Piano. This is great for uh, learning, teaching, or if you have a, a more than one uh, person learning the piano, essentially it will split the piano into two and you have a middle C in each half of the keyboard. So let's say the piano teacher is sat comes to your house and does lessons and they're sat towards this end and they want to uh, show an example. The pupil can be this side. And what's nice about that as well is the pedals split. So the right hand pedal becomes the sustain for this small piano and the left hand pedal becomes a sustain for this small piano. So that's great for teaching. It's also great for duets. If you've got two people playing the piano, you can both uh, rather than buying two pianos, you've got them in one and uh, play duets together. So Twin Piano, a great feature. Piano Designer, as we've already looked at, um, this is where you can customise the piano sound to your own personal preference and really go into detail and create your desired tone. Moving across the key, um, the control panel, sorry, we've got a built-in metronome. Very straightforward, very useful, rather than purchasing standalone metronome it's built into the unit so we can speed that up and obviously we can change the time signatures two four three four 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 six eight um, great for practice moving along we've got the song button there's a lot of content within uh, the new range of pianos there are some beginner pieces there are uh, technique exercises like Hannon Bayer uh, churny exercises. There's also uh, newly added to this range are scales and harmonized scales. So practicing scales is bull, uh, uh, bull? <laughs> it's dull, bull. <laughs> it's dull at the best of times. Um, so having an accompaniment to play along to makes it just a bit more interesting. And the fact that you have uh, three parts for each of these songs. So you have a right hand, a left hand, and accompaniment it means that you can practice hands separately so let's see if we can just have a quick look we will go through to uh, scales C major scale we've got three parts here right hand left hand and the accompaniment and if I play this now so the piano is playing the scale it's giving me an accompaniment it's giving me rhythm to keep in time what I'm going to do is turn the right hand part off the piano will play the left, the accompaniment will play, and I can play the right hand on my own and practice. So, um, it has every major and every minor scale programmed into the piano and that's uh, for the minors it's harmonic and melodic so really makes doing those uh, boring scales a bit more interesting also through peer score uh, the digital sheet music is available for the content in the piano so the classical pieces of music that are in here the scales that are in here you can download that for free play along and you've got the scales in front of you so that's all uh, contained within the song feature. And then over here, the final part of the control panel is the recording facility. So very easy just to play. Um, record yourself playing. This is great for a self-analysis or playback. So if you're learning a new piece of music, so. Stop. good for hand separate practice often when people are learning piano you practice right hand first get up to speed with that part left hand second when you're comfortable put them together so that recording facility is great to do that you can then save that to USB and recall it at another time for future practice uh, so essentially from left to right a quick overview um, of the control panel and it's the same on all four models